So the way Toyota went about this was developing uh, methods for improving these processes. And the, the philosophy they used is one called Kaizen. And everybody's heard of Kaizen, right? Do you know what Kaizen means? Without, without reading that up there. It means change. It means good change. It means coming in. My job every day when I come into my, my factory is Kaizen. I'm to make good change every day. That's what I'm supposed to go do. That's part of my belief system. That's part of what I'm expected to do. That's what my supervisors and my managers and all that expect me to do. And by the way, they're all doing that too. Okay? So Kaizen means improvement. Moreover, it means continuous improvement. So taking this back to Greener that I talked about on the first slide, where would Kaizen be in Greener's framework? All those little squiggles. The little squiggles? It's the evolutionary change. Kaizen is evolutionary change. It's small incremental improvements every single day. That's what, that's what Kaizen is. So Kaizen became a buzzword when I'm, I'm a, I wrote a couple of books on Gemma Kaizen and, and uh, uh, Kaizen, the key to Japanese competitive success. I may is considered the Kaizen guru. He was the guy who really ran Teichi Ono's approach to uh, in implementing these changes, these, these improvements in the factory all the time. Now, I like this just because it has a little automation in it. This is a slide we used to use from um, when I was at the Alabama Technology Network. And we were talking about the, the tools. So we have all these tools, pool systems, cellular, TPM, standardized work, quality systems, point of use ser uh, service, uh, quick change or SMED, 5S, visual. We've got all these things that we use, value stream mapping being the entry to all of that. But Kaizen is the way we implement. Okay? You implement those through Kaizen. Now, unfortunately, let's see if I left this slide in here. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is another one from the, well, when, you, when you're talking to a bunch of industry guys, you really need to dress it up a little bit and make them smile. Right? I, I tell you, that the first time I went to do a value stream map at the, at the uh, McDuffie Coal Terminal in, in Mobile um, a while back, several years ago. And I go into the room, and, and I'm, uh, you know, I'm this guy from University of Alabama in Huntsville, and, and I'm running the Alabama Technology Network Center up there, and I come in and do this value stream map on how, how they're moving coal and how can we improve the coal moving process. And I, I walk in, and everyone I'm like this. So I had a bunch of pessimists with me, right? They didn't believe anything was going to happen. And the youngest person in the room had been at McDuffie Coal Terminal 29 years. And they're sitting there like this saying, you're going to come in here and tell us how to go do our job? Yeah. So I knew I had a problem. And then, so the first thing we did is we all got a cup of coffee. I sat down. Instead of standing up from them, I sat down at the table in front of them and, and I crossed my arms like this too. And I said, you know, guys, I don't know a single thing about moving coal. Probably haven't moved a piece of coal in my life. But I know some things about how to improve processes. So if you'll teach me how to move coal, I'll teach you how to solve problems, and maybe together we can make some improvements. And all of a sudden, they started loosening up a little bit. And, and we ended up having a great, great activity, great event on there. But you have to understand who you're talking to, and that's why these slides have these types of things on them. So it, it lightens it up a little bit. So Kaizen is a process of identifying eliminating waste, implementing these at the lowest possible cost. You have to have continuous, gradual, persistent improvement by all employees and all management involved with it. Uh, Kaizen crew, you typically have a cross-functional team that's doing it. Focus, scope, aggressive goal, and a lot of people call this a Kaizen blitz. And that's the way we would implement it, right? That's the way we would train them because we come in the first part of the week and we would train people on what it was. I think that's an exercise. So train people on, the next, on, on what we were about to go do. We'd go through some exercises, get them all excited about it, then we'd go attack the, the, the problem, right? So we would do it in five days and it was a Kaizen event, right? Unfortunately, most U.S. companies have, have implemented Kaizen as an event and not as a philosophy for the way you do your job every day. So the transition between teaching somebody tools, like we were talking about in the slides before, and understanding a philosophy of continuous improvement is there's a big gap there. And that's why classes like this are really good because you're getting both pieces, right? You're learning some of the tools and you're learning how, about what the philosophy is. But these are the standard steps you would go through in doing a Kaizen Blitz, okay? Now, we also, we also called, had a thing we called drive-by Kaizens. And a drive-by Kaizen was one where you really didn't pick a real hard problem to go do it. You just go pick something and, and, and improve it and move on. Now, that typically does not help the bottom line. So when you start talking to the finance people, they start saying, well, we're paying for all this Kaizen stuff and nothing's really happening to our profitability. Well, that's because you're doing all these drive-by Kaizens that actually don't affect the main problems that you have. But, but drive-by Kaizens are good for training. You can train people with that. But understand that you're typically not working on the critical path and you're not going to actually make an effect on the bottom line of your company. So the second type of change that Toyota talks about is Kakaku. And Kakaku is radical revolutionary implementation of a value stream to quickly create more value with less waste. So Kakaku is talking about what kind of change? The square one, revolutionary change, right? So Kaizen is evolutionary change. Kakaku is revolutionary type of change. So if we talk about uh, if you come in over the weekend and you move all the equipment and rearrange it completely, is that Kaizen or is that Kakaku? 
you only got, you got a 50 50 chance, right? Yeah, it's Kakaku, right? It's revolutionary change. I, the people came in and my machine's not where it was. That's revolutionary change to somebody in the organization, right? What if you, go, you come in and uh, you've been doing work on 2D drawings in your shop forever, and you come in one day and put in a uh, product data management system, and you're, now you've got CAD, and you've got a manufacturing ex execution system, and you're doing everything digitally. Is that Kakaku or is that Kaizen? Kakaku, because you're making a huge technological change. I've increased my overall capacity by what I, can, what I now can do from what I had. So that's the that's key. Have I changed the basic way I can do business to now I have more capacity to grow? That means that's what Kakaku would be. Okay. Kaizen is going to be that every day come in and make changes to what I to what I uh, what I need to do to do my job. So it's called it's, sometimes it's called breakthrough Kaizen because people don't like to say Kakaku, but it's it's change in a revolutionary manner. So get back to this. The point is that this is Kaizen, this is Kakaku, and it, and they have to work together. You have to be able to. They all have to be part of your overall pro, uh, improvement plan, your overall strategy for what you're doing. So John Shook showed us this where uh, the, the Numi plant was certified the absolute worst plant in the, in the country and they made it to this where it's a new kind of workplace, best one in GM's fleet. Is that Kaizen or Kakaku? Combination. Combination of them, good. So they had to use Kaizen to make the simple improvement. They also made a significant change in the overall strategy and operational methods that they used within, the oper within their organization. Right? They made organizational changes, they made system changes, they did everything. That is a radical change. That is Kakaku. So Kakaku can be the culmination of a lot of Kaizen activity to the point where that Kaizen activity is going to evolutionarily bring you up to a point and then you have to change everything. Yes? Is it part of policy deployment then? It is part of policy deployment. All of that stuff fits within this overall. That's, we're, we're going to talk about that in just a second. 